Well, Peter here down uh, in the uh, radio shop. Actually, I'm in technically Studio A here. Uh, in today's discussion, we're going to talk about the ubiquitous static D104, D104. And I have one here uh, on the uh, on the bench here that uh, that we can look at. The uh, what we want to do here is we want to put a uh, a, a uh, source follower uh, JFET uh, in the uh, in the base of the microphone. In addition to a a face switch. Uh, this is particularly useful in AM, but it also could apply to uh, to single sideband, or you know, certainly any of the other uh, any other uh, voice modes. So, let's take a look here at it. I've taken the taken the liberty of taking the base off, so you can see here we're talking about the. Uh, uh, Here's the 9 volt battery here, and uh, and then here's the here's the JFET module that I put in here. It's uh, it's just a simple JFET uh, like an MPF 102 or a 2N. Uh, what's it? 5457 I think would be another one. NTE 457 I think is the other. So what I did in this case was uh, uh, I made the circuit board in roughly about a one by by two uh, uh, perforated board, and uh, it's got as I noted here a nine volt battery, <clears throat> simple JFET. It's a source follower, <clears throat> and uh, it also is a tr there's a trim pod in there. You don't really need the trim pod. I put it in there, but it's not really needed. Uh, it's not that you could just put a you know one k resistor uh, from this from the JFET source to to ground and that and then come off that and that would be fine. So, but I decided to do it. And that's kind of what's in my schematic. So uh, now one thing that is good to do is this microphone has got a push to talk switch here. Uh, in it, which uh, is actually it's a double pole, double throw switch. So we're used. So I use one of the contacts to run the uh, battery uh, uh, positive nine nine volts from the battery uh, into uh, through through the through the push talk switch. So this way the the uh, battery is not on all the time, or you don't need to have an on and off switch to forget to turn off. So it works out very well. I have had this. Uh, this uh, microphone uh, in service now for about, which is I don't know, I guess about five years, and uh, so it's uh, it's been it's worked very very well. I've never had an issue with it. I've used it, used this particular microphone on several transmitters, and uh, never had an issue. Uh, one one key th thing that that's very important is to have some some uh, transient voltage protection. In this particular case, I use a transorb, which is uh, this thing uh, right here. It's an 18 volt tra transorb, uh, and I think that really does make a difference too. So, uh, at least it. Uh, you I mean there's a couple ways to go too. You could use maybe a back to back uh, uh, 1N 4148, something that that would be a you know fairly fast diode. I wouldn't use 1N4007s, I think they'd be too slow, uh, or 1N4000, whatever, so, but, but you know, uh, uh, RF diodes would, would be useful maybe in that configuration. So that's really the story. Also the face switch here. Uh, I rec face switch is real easy to do in this particular case. I, I uh, ran, came up the audio uh, from, the, from the neck. And uh, ran it through the phase switch so they we can so we can flip phases and of course uh, it's right here. That is the story from here.